Hi, my name is Thomas Foster and this is the first episode of a multi-part tutorial on Reason 11 by Propellerhead. This tutorial is perfect for you if you are an absolute beginner and have no idea about music production or you come from another software and want to find a quick start in Reason Studios. When you open Reason for the first time, it should look like this. You have here three main windows. This is the browser. In the browser you can search for sounds and effects and drop them into your program. We can close the browser with this button here. Then we have the mixer. The mixer is closed right now. Let's open the mixer. Here you have all your mixer channels to make the levels, the pan and many things more. IQs, dynamics. Yeah, that's cool. Here is the main rack. Here you find all your instruments and effects. And here on the bottom you see the main sequencer. Here you have your audio tracks and you put in your notes to control the instruments. All right, let's start with a little beat. On the bottom you see the transport buttons, like the play button, the most important button in the software, right? Let's click on play. And now you should hear the click and you see this cursor is running from left to right. If you don't hear the click, please check your preferences. Here on audio, you should be able to choose your audio card. If you still don't hear something, check out if you hear something in other programs. Maybe you just have to open some levels of your speakers. Okay, if I press the play button, I see this cursor moving and I see here the time in seconds and milliseconds and I see here the bars and beats. So this is the second bar, the third bar and the beats goes like one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. That's because we have a four to four bar. That's our time signature. How fast this cursor is moving, how fast you hear this clicking, you say here with the tempo in beats per minute. So what we hear now is 120 beats per minute. But we can make the tempo much slower. We can go, for example, down to 90 BPM if you want to produce a hip hop track or maybe a chill out track. If you want to make more something like a medium pop track, it's somewhere between 100, 110. If you want to make a dance track, this should start at 123, 125. A techno track, typical tempo for a techno track is 128. If you want to make dubstep, go up to 140, 45. Drum and bass is 160 or 180. If you want to produce speed metal, sure, you can go up to 299 BPM, but that's not what we want to do now. I make a double click and type in 125 BPM as we want to do something like a dance track, a four to the floor track. Okay, we need now a drum computer to make our first beat. So with a click here, I open the browser. We have two drum machines, the Kong drum designer and the Reed drum designer. I click now on the Reed drum designer and move it into this window here. And here you have all your drum samples. It starts here with the bass drum, then the snare drum, a rim shot, here is a shaker, and there's a lot more toms, a crash, a right backen, yes. And now we want to create one clip or one pattern here in our timeline. So we make a double click between bar one and bar two in the line where it says disco kit means where our we drum drum machine is. So I make here a double click to create an empty clip or an empty pattern. If we make a double click on this pattern, we see the piano roll or let's call it the drum editor. And what you see here, these 16 fills are the 16ths of one bar. One bar has 16 16ths and four 16 is one beat. So every fourth 16 is a beat. 
and we have four beats in this bar. So we don't want to make it too complicated, but we could zoom in a little bit to see this a little bit bigger. Okay, you do this here with this curved thing here. I don't know how to call it. We click it on the right side and move a little bit to the left side to zoom in or to the right side to zoom out. So I zoom in to make this one bar a little bit bigger. Now we see more squares from left to right. How many squares you see, you can say here with the grid. Let's make this 16, the grid 116. Now we have again 16 16th. And we see here the second beat, the third beat and the fourth beat. On every beat, we want to have a bass drum. So let's make a double click here on the line of the bass drum. In the first field, in the two, three, four, five, and also on beat three and four. Now on every beat, we have now a bass drum. And that's what we call a four to the floor beat if the bass drum is playing on one, two, three and four. We still hear the metronome. As we do not play live on the keyboard, we don't need the metronome. So we click here where it says click to shut down the click. And now we listen again. On every second beat, I would like to hear a snare. So let's make a double click here on one, two and one, four. And then it sounds like this. Wonderful. The hi-hat, let's take a look where we find the hi-hat. This is a shaker. Here we have some toms. That's the hi-hat. So I scroll up a little bit. Here's an open hi-hat, but I want to use the close hi-hat now. We need it on every offbeat, means between the bass drums. So one, two, three. Here we want a hi-hat. Four, five, six, seven. Always two sixteenths after the kick. We want to hear the hi-hat. Let's listen. Wonderful. And now we could add a little shaker. It's called egg. And we place the shaker on every 16th. And instead of doing this on every 16th, we make it just four times. Then we select all four and use the command duplicate with command D or control D. All right, let's listen. For me, the shaker is a little bit too loud. So we can change this here. Here's the sound settings of our drum computer. For every sample, you can say the pitch and the level and some other things. So if we search for the egg, it's here. That's the egg, the number four of this drum machine, right? And we bring down the level, let's say to 50 or 60, yeah, I have now 55, let's listen to this. That's wonderful. If this sounds like this in your reason, then I say, congratulations, you made already your first beat. How cool is that? Please write in the comments if this tutorial helped you or if you have any question about this tutorial or Reason 11. To not miss another episode on Reason 11, subscribe to my channel Thomas Foster Music Production. Thanks for being there. Always stay creative. Cheers! What if finding the perfect sound, loops and samples for your latest production is as easy as finding the perfect hotel for a weekend trip to Berlin, Ibiza or Miami? Now you can! With Mutant, the new online search engine for high quality sounds, which despite of your favorite hotel are free, as we don't have to make the beds after you left. You can find everything from modern drum beats to crystal clear percussion. From deep basses, cool vintage keys, and funky brass. Just go to mutant.com, search for the sound you're looking for, listen to your search result, and then immediately download the sound files without login and without credit card.
In addition to a standard text search, you can use the drop-down menus and combine them. For example, synthesizer and 128 BPM. Guitars and G minor. Orchestra and cinematic. So what are you waiting for? Mute chat. It's time to make music.